the solar interior. Now we are dealing with a part of the sun that we can't observe. Uh, the photosphere is the deepest we can see. And so the way we figured out the solar interior is based on computer models. And these make use of the laws of physics and just apply them to this very extreme case of the interior of a star. So based on these models, based on the laws of physics, is how we have figured out what's going on in the Sun's interior. At the very center of the Sun is the core. And on our diagram here you can see where the core is labeled. And the core is associated with energy production. Um, we'll do a separate tutorial going into detail about the energy production, but this is hydrogen fusion that is taking place. And the core is uniquely suited for this energy production. So all the light that you see coming from the sun originates here in the core. Now that energy production is also what keeps the sun stable. And that stability is given this very fancy name, hydrostatic equilibrium. And essentially, when energy is being produced, it is going to push outward. And it's going to make the gas that makes up our sun want to expand outward. But of course, our sun has gravity. And that gravity is what's holding it together and is exactly balancing uh, the energy that is pushing out. And so our sun remains stable. Now, the key thing to keep in mind, though, is that the energy production, this fusion process, uh, isn't constant. It has a random component to it. So there are times when energy production decreases. Well, if energy production decreases, then the sun is going to shrink. But if it shrinks, then we know it's going to get hotter. And if it gets hotter, energy production is going to increase. So it fixes itself. And the same is true if it went the other way. If energy production increased, then the sun would uh, expand. Ooh, not enough room here. And if the sun expands, it's going to get cooler and energy production will decrease. So it works both ways. So in fact, our sun is constantly expanding and contracting. It's a very, very small amount, but it is measurable. And it's this constant fixing of itself to remain in equilibrium. Outside of the core, so here's our core, the next layer out is called the radiative zone. So in our cutaway here, we see the radiative zone. And as it says, energy moves via radiation. Essentially what's happening is we have our little atoms with the electrons orbiting. And an electron falls, and it emits radiation. Then that gets 
absorbed by an electron in a neighboring atom and the electron moves up to a higher energy level and it continues in this way then it falls and emits and so on so the energy is being passed from atom to atom but that is not a linear process so the energy moving out from the radiative zone could go out then goes back in out over out down over out and it's just this completely random path that one little packet of energy will follow eventually finding its way out to the outer edge of the radiative zone turns out that on average that process takes one million years which is crazy so the light we are seeing from the Sun today began its journey a million years ago outermost layer of the Sun's interior so that's a complicated concept is called the convective zone and convection is this idea that when something is hot it expands and when it expands that's going to reduce the density and so it floats well when it gets to the outer part of the convective zone it's going to get cool and it's going to shrink and it's going to become more dense and so it's going to sink and then the cycle repeats itself and so the convective zone is going through this constant uh, circular motion of bubbles rising and sinking rising and sinking and that's what's carrying that last little uh, leg of the journey of energy from the interior when it reaches the top it's going to radiate and that's what we see as light these bubbles are what we see as granulation on the photosphere so that's the one part of the Sun's interior that we can actually observe directly and uh, we know that the Sun does have this convection cycle taking place in the outermost part of its interior layers uh, so those are the parts of the Sun's internal structure